it was a kind of a terrifying experience because it's a shark tank in there. And How did you get started in the film industry? It was a kind of a terrifying experience because it's a shark tank in there. And, and um, uh, just to answer your question, it's like to, for me to give advice to someone on how to get in, I can't really say, and I didn't come in, you know, oh, I was a baby writer for a while and I got a story editor job on another show and then I, you know, built that up and I went, I didn't do the same trajectory as most TV writers do. I mean, I know what that trajectory is. You graduate from film school, you pull every, every favor you can get and you try to get um, into the into a writer's room um, whether you're in there as a office PA and you're bringing coffee or whether you're a writer's assistant and you're just taking notes and that's really the way into TV writer it's you're into TV writing it's really a very much um, it's 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 very much like the old you know like you know getting into plumbing or you know, shoe making back <laughs> in the joining the guild um, it's, it, it's, it, you know, but mine, I just, I broke right through at, the, at sort of the top. You know, this is what I've been told by other people who were involved at the time. They said what they found was nobody else knew how to write that show. And so they were stuck with me. And so you, so you wrote yourself a niche. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, really, what else? I mean, basically, what I did was I created. It's like it's like sitting out creating a board game where everything you do well is something that wins that board game, and it's custom designed for every single thing you do well. And and they realized, so I'm probably guessing to their abject horror that you know that they needed me and and they couldn't get rid of me, and it would have been easier to get rid of me because I was so green and. From my standpoint, I didn't know the rules and getting into Hollywood and dealing with Hollywood people and the entertainment business is a lot like suddenly getting into time machine, finding yourself in the court of King Louis the 14th and you're, there's a whole battery of sort of kabuki like rituals and certain things that have to be said and how they're said and pecking orders. And I remember my first, I sent a memo out one time and in the insurance business, you send a memo out and you just, it's here it is here, everybody, here's what's going on. But, you know, um, I got called by one of the executive producers. He said, what do you think you're doing? I was like, what do you mean? What am I doing? I'm sending out this memo that, about, you know, some nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, he climbed up my ass about, Oh, you have to put this person's name first and this person's name second and this person's name third. Oh. And so it was really, a lot about just learning these weird customs and rituals and expectations. I also didn't know what was a reasonable ask. Like, you know, was it a reasonable ask, you know, to, if I said, no, let's not do this. Um, you, you, it's pretty easy if you don't have a really strong knowledge of physical production. And I didn't back then to step on the anthill. And I did that pretty regularly. I learned very, I'm a quick study and I learn and I make, I generally don't make the same mistake twice. Um, I just make every possible mistake once. <laughs> you know? Fair enough. And, 